Site preparation for winter sets takes extra preparation to ensure your crushed stone is free of frost. This video is to demonstrate those steps. First, keep in mind, do not excavate the site too far in advance of the scheduled set date and do not place footing on frozen soil. After the initial excavation is done, the next thing to do is set up a French drain system. The addition of a sump pit may be included on the site due to the lack of natural drainage away from the foundation. Here you'll see they're digging a hole for the sump pit. Then the basin for the sump pit is prepared. The next thing to do is connect the sump pit to the French drain pipe. The pipe is then connected to the rest of the pipe that will be placed along the perimeter of the floor area. Notice as the drain pipe is placed around the perimeter, they are held in place by rebar pins hammered into the ground. Next, the pipe needs to be moved away from the ramp that the skid loader will use to enter with more stone gravel. The fabric mesh material around the pipe comes in handy for pinning the pipe to the side of the ramp. The purpose of this material is to keep the stone and dirt out of the pipe when water seeps into it through the perforations in the pipe. Now, the sump basin is held upright as more stone is added. The basin is being held in position with the top of the basin held several inches above the ground so the top of the basin will be even with the poured cement floor. Note, the top of the basin is being measured to be about two inches above where the stone bed will be. Now it's time to start covering the entire floor area, starting with covering the drain pipes. Notice the stone bed is continuously measured so the grade is level. The grade of the stone along the perimeter is measured to be one half inch higher than the grade of the stone where the floor will be. This is done so when the walls are set, they will compact the stone bed to approximately the same grade as the rest of the stone. Next, calcium chloride is added to the stone along the perimeter where the walls will be set. This is done so the stone does not freeze solid before the walls are set. The stone must stay loose so when the walls are set, they can be adjusted in place. After the calcium chloride is spread, it'll be mixed into the gravel with a rototiller. Once the calcium chloride is mixed into the stone gravel, the area is covered with asphalt roofing felt, also known as tar paper. The tar paper keeps the heat in to help make sure there is no freezing. After the tar paper is laid down, the edges are covered. This is important because it keeps the paper down and helps keep cold air out. After the skid loader is finished bringing stone in, the final connection of the French drain pipe is made. Make sure the fabric mesh covers the pipe so dirt and aggregate does not seep into the pipe. In the center of the floor, there'll be two support posts. These areas also need to be kept from freezing so the footers of the posts can be set firmly. The same process used to keep the footing area for the walls from freezing is used here. Now the skid loader is finished bringing stone in. The final area where the walls will be set is prepared. Now the site is almost finished. If the temperature gets down to about 20 or 22 degrees, none of the prepared areas will freeze. However, if the temperature goes lower than 20 or 22 degrees, it's recommended to cover the areas with straw to help keep the area warm in much colder weather. Note, six inches of straw has approximately the same R value as three and a half inches of fiberglass insulation. These tips are both useful and recommended for the ease and timeliness of your superior walls installation. Always refer to the builder guideline booklet when preparing your site for the arrival of superior walls.
We'd like to thank Miller Brothers Masonry of Middleburg, who did this winter site prep demonstration. Thanks for watching. The Superior Solutions.